Hey friends, um, in Ephesians chapter number six, um, Paul is uh, giving further instructions about how Christ as our life affects and looks in our family. He had talked about the husband and wife relationship and you know how we uh, uh, submit ourselves to one to another and the wife submits to the husband and the wife uh, the husband loves the wife as Christ loves the church and that all of this is about how um, you know Christ and the church but it's really about how when we understand that Christ is our life well it changes the way we live and relate to one another so in chapter number six he starts off and he says children obey your parents in the Lord for this is right Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise that it may go well with you and that you may live long in the land. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. So he starts off and he says, okay, well, children, and this is the context of the the family that is dedicated uh, to live out discipleship, the family that knows Christ and desires to experience. And he says, obey your parents, honor them. Uh, from the beginning of the old covenant, even when the giving of the law, he said, there is a promise that when uh, the children will show do honor to their parents. They have the promise of a long life in the land. And he's saying that the principle is still there, that, that, that the children are to honor their father and mother, to, to bring themselves under uh, the parents' authority. And as our children grow, um, this can be, you know, more challenging. Uh, the first part of it is just teaching them respect and o obedience. And um, because that's a, 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 the child doesn't know what's best. And as the ch child gets older, uh, they still need to learn to live under authority, even as they develop their own thinking and opinions. And uh, while we don't want to, uh, restrain the development of children. We are doing them no favor uh, by giving them the impression uh, that the world is going to revolve around them and their opinions and their thinking. We do them a great service when we teach them to honor and respect their parents, those in authority, and to freely bring themselves under authority and to live there and to respect it. Now, in verse number four, he says to the dads, don't provoke your children to anger. There can be a tendency for dads to have this uh, shortness of temper with the children, expecting uh, perfection and blind obedience and, you know, um, I remember as a kid, there was one thing it was like, you know, children are to, to be seen and not heard. And, uh, you know, don't ask questions, just do it. And I don't think that's healthy. I think a loving father looks like our loving father. He loves us. He gives. He nurtures us. And he certainly would never provoke us to wrath. So... A, a dad in Christ is going to let Christ live through them to their children, to nurture them, to help them to understand, um, help them to grow. He says, what's the father's responsibility? Now, notice he's not laying this all out on the mom. He's laying this out on the dad. And he's saying, bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. And if you see discipline and you think beating, that's your first response, you're missing the point. I'm not saying uh, that you as a parent will never hide times that you 
practice discipline, even corporal punishment, but make sure the discipline is always preparing them for the future, not punishment. There are consequences for making bad choices, and there's nothing wrong with showing our children. In fact, it's it's the right thing to show our children that life is about choices and choices have consequences, so make good choices. So yes, uh, we discipline, but we don't discipline in the sense to destroy or retribution or out of frustration because they didn't follow the rules. They didn't listen to us. We discipline them for the very purpose of preparing them for the future. Why? Does the scripture tell all of us as believers to not despise the chastening or the discipline of the Lord? He goes, because that's what good dads do. It's not punishment just to pay you back. It's to prepare you for the future. And so as God the Father disciplines us as his children, he says, fathers, do the same thing. And in the instruction of the Lord, Show them God's way, how he works, how he expresses his love, how he gave his life for us, how he's so committed to us that he's sacrificing, inconveniencing himself to do what is always for our best. Sorry about that bark at the end, but I hope that this settles in your heart. Now, if you're a mom and you're raising kids on your own, I know this is harder. But let his love be your wisdom and give them a right view of God. Love you.